Welcome to Tabo Eminent Channel. Long ago, people thought space and time were like separate stages. Space was the arena, and time was the ticking clock that never changed. But in the early 20th century, Einstein revealed that they were actually woven together into a single fabric called spacetime. This fabric had rules, and one of the strangest was that there was a universal speed limit built into its very design. That limit wasn't chosen by anyone, it simply came from the way the fabric itself bends and stretches. Thanks for watching. Request you to subscribe. The channel. Imagine you're standing on a vast plain, and you toss a stone. No matter how hard you throw, the stone always travels slower than a bird flying above you. If you had infinite strength, you might try to match the bird's speed, but you'd never quite succeed you just exhaust yourself more and more. In the universe, that bird is light itself. Light moves at the very edge of what is possible, and everything else with mass can only chase it, never reach it. Why does it have to be this way? Because if signals could outrun light, the order of events would get scrambled. Someone could send a message back to the past, and an effect could arrive before its cause like watching a glass shatter on the floor before it's even dropped. The universe seems to abhor such paradoxes, and so it sets a strict boundary. Light speed becomes a cosmic referee, ensuring that cause always comes before effect. And here's the most beautiful part, the speed of light isn't just about light. It's the very thread that stitches space and time together. Light just happens to ride the edge of that thread because it has no weight to hold it back. In truth, C is less about photons and more about the rhythm of the cosmos, the fastest drumbeat that existence itself can keep. So the universe has a speed limit not because of an external law written somewhere, but because of the way reality is built. Just as a river sets the pace for how quickly its water can flow, Spacetime itself sets the pace for how quickly information, energy, and matter can move. And that pace, swift beyond imagination yet still finite, is what keeps the universe both mysterious and orderly. In the beginning, when the universe was young and wild, there were no galaxies, no stars, no planets, only a newborn sea of energy. Out of this chaos, rules began to form. These rules were not written on stone tablets or whispered by hidden gods, they emerged from the very fabric of existence. Among them was one rule so strange, so absolute, that it would shape everything that came after. Nothing could move faster than a certain speed. That speed became the heartbeat of the cosmos. Light was the first to discover this truth. Born weightless, it darted through the emptiness at this ultimate pace, testing the boundary of what was possible. Matter tried to keep up, but matter carried weight, and the heavier it was, the slower it moved. The universe seemed to whisper, you may run as fast as you like, but if you carry mass, you will never catch the light. And so, every particle, planet, and galaxy fell into rhythm with that hidden command. As eons passed, this limit became the invisible law that protected the universe from tearing itself apart. Imagine a world without it. Signals racing faster than light, causes arriving after their effects, events tangled in impossible knots. In such a world, you might see a star explode before it was ever born, or hear words before they were spoken. Time itself would unravel. The speed limit kept reality safe guarding the line between past and future. And yet, this law is not a prison, it is a gift. Because light could race across space at this perfect speed, it became the messenger of the universe. It carried the glow of ancient stars to newborn eyes on distant planets. It painted the skies with sunsets, revealed galaxies across billions of years, and allowed minds like ours to wonder where it all began. The speed limit didn't trap us, it gave us the rhythm that makes the universe knowable, beautiful, and alive. So when we say the universe has a speed limit, we are really saying that existence itself has a kind of harmony. 
It's the tempo to which every atom dances, the maximum beat of the cosmic drum. Light is not the ruler of that law, light is simply the first and purest traveler upon it. Before time had a name, before distance could be measured, the universe unfolded from a spark smaller than a grain of sand. In that instant, when everything burst outward in light and fire, the cosmos had a choice. To expand without order, or to weave a fabric strong enough to hold together stars, galaxies, and life yet unborn. From this choice came the threads of space and time, stitched tightly into a single cloth, space-time. But cloth can only stretch so far before it unravels, and so the universe set a boundary. That boundary became the fastest speed possible, the cosmic speed limit. Light was the first traveler upon this new fabric. It carried no burden, no weight, and so it could slip along space-time at the ultimate pace. Matter soon followed, heavy and reluctant, pulled down by its own mass. The faster it tried to move, the harder space-time resisted, demanding more and more energy until the chase became impossible. And so, light remained the champion of speed, the trailblazer, the messenger of the cosmos. Everything else could only follow in its wake. The limit was not cruel, it was wise. Without it, chaos would rule. If signals could outpace light, the story of the universe would fold in on itself. Effects could precede causes, and time would lose meaning. A star could be seen to die before it ever lived. A message could arrive before it was written. The cosmic tapestry would tangle into paradox and break apart. By setting a speed limit, the universe ensured that its story would unfold in the right order, one page after another, like a book written across eternity. And so, the limit became more than a law, it became a rhythm. The galaxies danced to it as they drifted apart. Stars pulsed to it as they burned in the darkness. Even we, tiny creatures on a blue planet, live within its embrace. When we look to the night sky, the starlight that touches our eyes is ancient, carried faithfully at the universe's highest speed across billions of years, just so we might see it. The universe's speed limit is not a barrier to freedom, but a gift of order. It keeps the story of reality from collapsing into chaos, and it binds past, present, and future together in harmony. And within that balance, everything we know, every star, every life, every story, found the room to exist.